Hi. In this video, you will learn about our new Confluence plugin called Manage Data Fields. In a nutshell, what does it do? Manage Data Fields allows you to enter structured data on Confluence pages and run queries on the data. The idea popped up while editing process documentations. It is a common approach to create a Confluence page for each business process. What you can see here is an example for such a page. The documentation usually consists of a diagram like this BPMN diagram here, plus some descriptions, plus some structured data. By structured data, I mean information like process name, organizational unit, and who is responsible. These are still missing here. Usually, we add structured data at the top of the conference page. Let me do that now. I could use a table as well to have it look more professional. But at the end of the day, it's all just free text. The downside of free text is that it's unstructured. We have to ensure manually that every process is described by the same data fields and that data is entered in the same format. And with the number of processes growing, the desire in our team became stronger to use structured data in an overview of all processes. Or to use it for filtering, for example, to filter for all processes of a certain organizational unit. But that's not possible with free text data. Here comes the remedy. Our conference plugin Manage Data Fields allows you to capture data in a structured way and further analyze this data. Let me erase that free text and show you the plugin. You can find it by clicking the plus button and then pick Managed Data Fields. That only works if the plugin has already been installed in your company's Confluence. If this is not the case, talk to your Confluence admin. They can install it. First, a dialog opens. It has three sections. Field instance. You can use that to enter data on your wiki page. As you can see, somebody already created some field definitions that I could instantiate right now. Field query. You can use that to display the result of a query to your wiki page. We will come to that later. And field definition. This is where you define the fields in the first place. Managed data fields are defined globally. Once they are defined, the data can be captured on every wiki page. Let's go there. I clicked on field definitions. As I said, the field definitions are global, so we cannot edit them here on our process wiki page. Nevertheless, we can navigate there from here by clicking Create. Upon initial installation of the plugin, every user is permitted to edit the global field definitions. You may limit that later by adding people to the conference user group called Manage Data Fields Editors. As soon as someone belongs to the group, only they will be able to edit the global definitions. In that case, all group members will have a link to the field definitions page prominently placed in the Confluence header bar. Now, in order to get to the field definitions, I click Create. What we see here is a list of all field definitions so far. They have various data types, text, multi-select, drop-down and option field. I want to create yet another field definition, so I click New Field Definition. I name my data field definition Process Documentation. And as a data type, I choose Complex. Complex means that the data type consists of multiple data fields that may have different data types in turn. What do we need? Process name is a text field. Organizational unit is the drop-down. And I have to enter a list of possible options. Document status is an option field. And needs a list of options as well. Also, I add a description to the overall complex field definition. I finish by clicking Add. OK, my new data field definition has been created. The table includes a rendering of how the field will look on an actual wiki page. Back to our wiki page. Now that we have a field definition, we can actually capture data. Once again, I pick the Manage Data plugin. This time, I go to Field Instance and browse through the list of available field definitions. I pick the one we defined a minute ago, Process Documentation. Next, I fill in the concrete values for my business process. After I clicked Add, the Field Instance macro was added to my wiki editor. I will now save the conference page in order to see how it looks. There it is, in a beautifully rendered table. Oh, a typo. I misspelled Incoming. I will fix that. For this, I go back to the Edit mode. Perfect now. I'm not going to present that in this video, but just so you know, field instances can also be added to Confluence templates. As many of our customers have a template for process documentations, that might be a useful hint. 
Next, I'm going to show you the query feature. I shortly paused the screencast and captured structured data for a few more processes. Now I will show you how to create a list of processes that meet certain criteria. Here is a new conference page. I named it Process Documentation Overview. I go to Edit Mode. And then back to the plus button. And back to Manage Data Fields. This time I go to Field Query. I pick the field definition that I want to query. I can switch off any filtering functionality in case I want a list of all wiki pages that contain an instance of process documentation. In that case, I could still filter by confluence space. Let's start with all spaces. I save the wiki page. Now here is a list of the processes for which I entered data. On a side note, this search result is fully compatible with confluence permission framework. Everybody sees only those spaces and pages that they are permitted to. By the way, up there in the right corner is a button for CSV export. For the future we are considering statistic features like how many processes there are per organizational unit. But back to the here and now. In case I do not want to see all processes, I can go back to edit mode and define a filter. With a click on the query macro, I can edit the field query. I add a filter for draft versions. Value filtering for complex fields is straightforward. As soon as you enter or select values for an attribute, the query will only return instances that contain at least one of the entered values for that attribute. Hence, not setting a value here results in the attribute's value being ignored by the query. Now, the list is down to one process, the only one that is still a draft. The list here represents the filter that is currently applied to the query. The location of the found wiki pages can easily be accessed via the link. Thank you for watching. The Managed Data Fields plugin is available in the Atlassian store. Please let us know if you have any questions. And we are also happy about feature requests as we are planning to extend our plugin. <music>